Okay, let's start our iMovie project by importing video. We have direct import from a device such as a camera or a phone, video uh, from iPhoto, and we can also import a file from a different location on your computer. Let's start with direct import. Open your iMovie program first and then connect your device. You'll see the program recognize the device and open the import window. The program defaults to import everything automatically, so if you only want to import a selection, move the toggle that's in the lower left hand side to manual and uncheck all. Add a check mark to the clips that you wish to import and then select import checked. The drop down asks for your preference where to store the file. In iMovie, folders are called events. If you are working on your own computer, you'll want to name the folder so that you can keep your files organized. If you're on a lab computer, you can just leave the default. The next option is to choose whether to optimize the videos for large size. Now, if your recording is in high definition, the format many cameras and phones record in now, do check optimize. This um, reduces the file size without significantly losing quality. The regular high definition video files are really large when you import them into iMovie, so I do suggest that you optimize the video for large size. Okay, now select done and the event folder will display in the event library. The second way to access videos for an iMovie project is to use the videos that were previously saved in iPhoto. Max imports still images and videos from point-and-shoot cameras and camera phones into the iPhoto program. Videos in iPhoto will display the video camera icon in the lower edge of the thumbnail, as you see here. And if you want to access iPhoto videos in iMovie, be sure to allow iMovie to generate or update iPhoto thumbnails when you first open the iMovie program. One other way to import video files is to simply select File, Import, Import Movies, and select the location where the file is currently stored. Specify the event where the file will be added and optimize if it is high definition video. Now that all your video is imported into iMovie and iPhoto videos are accessible if you're using them, you're ready to build your project.